Good morning everybody, it's Wednesday today, we are a wee bit later today. Yeah, it's been so noisy in our street the last week or so. My neighbour next door and uh, then a neighbour across the way were getting monoblocking done. So it's quite nice to have a quiet street for a wee while. Um, I felt sorry for my next door neighbour who's a night shift worker. I'm sure he was not able to sleep um, any nights of the last few because of the noise of all the machinery and the shouting main. So, uh, a bit duller today, but hopefully yesterday did turn into a lovely afternoon. Uh, school I was in yesterday, we, the children do a mile walk, uh, and so we were out in the afternoon uh, walking around the playground, and it was lovely weather for that purpose. So it did turn in yesterday to be a lovely sunny afternoon, and it wasn't really cold at all, so hopefully today will be the same. Um, uh, details of the Zoom service will be in the Best Kit Weekly tonight and I will give you them tomorrow uh, in the message so that people, um, if they want, can note it down. What happens is if you've got Zoom, you log in. There is a link. If you want the link and you don't get the link tonight in the Best Kit Weekly, please let us know and we will um, make sure that you can get the link. If you want to try phoning into the service on on Friday at two o'clock, there is a phone number and I will give you that phone number tomorrow. And what happens is you phone the number, then you are prompted for the passcode and the ID and you have to put them in. Uh, I know it sounds a wee bit complicated. I'm sure maybe the first time that you try it, it might be uh, you've got to think what you're doing. But I think it's like everything else, after you've had a wee go at it, it is easier after that. That will allow you to phone into the service, so you will be able to hear the service, but not um, see what's happening. And it is going to be a communion service, so we're asking if everyone can have a wee bit of bread and a wee drink of juice ready uh, for uh, when it's a prompt from uh, the minister during the service uh, as part of the communion uh, time. So, any questions, please phone. I'll try and talk you through it. Um, I know that the people who have been phoning everybody regularly, the phone buddies, um, they are uh, giving you some information about it. But if you want more information or you're still not sure, please do phone. We will be here. So, apart from that, Westcourt Weekly tonight. Uh, nothing else, I don't think, happening. The services this afternoon... Uh, all the Wednesdays know that uh, it's a two o'clock start, so uh, you need to be there about quarter ten two in order that everybody is seated before two o'clock. So service this afternoon, where's Kurt Wheatley tonight? A uh, communion, Good Friday communion service on Friday at two, uh, and that's um, all the information for the minute. So we're nearly at the end of the tier fund Lent devotions. I'm nearly in tears, we're nearly at the end of it. Uh, and today our message is from Lucy Ngesson, who is Tier Funds West Africa Communications Officer. And Lucy has chosen a verse from Luke chapter 4. So I'm going to read Luke chapter 4 from the beginning down to verse 21. So Luke chapter 4, starting at verse 1, and it's entitled The Temptation of Jesus Jesus returned from the Jordan full of the Holy Spirit and was led by the Spirit into the desert, where he was tempted by the devil for forty days. In all that time he ate nothing, so that he was hungry when it was over. The devil said to him, If you are God's son, order this stone to turn into bread. But Jesus answered, The scripture says, humans can't, you Human beings cannot live on bread alone. Then the devil took him up and showed him a second, in a second, all the kingdoms of the world. I will give you all this power and all this wealth, the devil told him. It has all been handed over to me, and I can give it to anyone I choose. All this will be yours then, if you worship me. Jesus answered, The scripture says, Worship the Lord your God and serve only him. Then the devil took him to Jerusalem and set him on the highest point of the temple and said to him, If you are God's son, throw yourself down from here, for the scripture says, God will order his angels to take good care of you. 
It also says they will hold you up with their hands so that not even your feet will be hurt on the stones. But Jesus answered, The scripture says, Do not put the Lord your God to the test. When the devil finished tempting Jesus in every way, he left him for a while. Then Jesus returned to Galilee and the power of the Holy Spirit was with him. The news about him spread throughout all the territory. He taught in the synagogues and was praised for by everyone. Then Jesus went to Nazareth where he had been brought up and on the Sabbath he went as usual to the synagogue. He stood up to read the scriptures and was handed the book of the prophet Isaiah. He unrolled the scroll and found the place where it is risen, written, The Spirit of the Lord is upon me because he has chosen me to bring good news to the poor and sent me to proclaim liberty to the captives and recovery of sight to the blind, to set free the oppressed and announce that the time has come when the Lord will save his people. Jesus rolled up the scroll, gave it back to the attendant and sat down. All the people in the synagogue had their eyes fixed on him as he said to them, This passage of scripture has come true today as you have heard it being read. They were all well impressed with him and marvelled at the eloquent words that he spoke. They said, Isn't he the son of Joseph? Amen and God bless the reading from Luke chapter 4. And Lucy has chosen as her verse from Luke chapter 4 verse 18. The Spirit of the Lord is on me because he has anointed me to proclaim good news to the poor. And then she goes on to say again. The Spirit of the Lord is on, is on me because he has anointed me to proclaim good news to the poor. He has sent me to proclaim freedom for the prisoners and recovery of sight for the blind, to set the oppressed free, to proclaim the year of the Lord's favour. Lectio Divina is an ancient Christian Bible meditation practice origini or originating, sorry, originating from the Hebrew tradition of the Shema, which involves listening with the heart. It allows us to focus on the text we are reading, to slow down and hear what God is wanting to say to us through the passage. Join with us as we meditate together on Jesus' mission and what this means for us today. Find a still, silent space. Become aware of God's presence. Begin by reading the above scripture a few times to familiarise yourself with it. Read the text again. This time notice a word or phrase that catches your attention. Meditate on this. Ask God why he chose to highlight this word or phrase. Have a conversation with him about this. You may want to write it down and remember it. Rest in God's presence. So that's something you can do with any piece of text that you're reading, any scripture. So to read it a few times, Read it again, notice a word or phrase that catches your attention and meditate on that word or phrase. And while you're doing that, ask God why he chose to highlight that word or phrase to you and then rest in God's presence. So um, I hope you can maybe try that. That's a holy reading, an ancient Christian Bible meditation practice. So I hope people can... Uh, do that today. Uh, choose a passage that is a favourite of yours and meditate on it for a wee while. So I hope everybody's doing fine, um, taking care of each other. Uh, we're nearer getting uh, back to some normality. I know everybody like me is desperately still needing their hair cut. Um, I think that's people's priority, never mind the garden centres. Let's get the barbers and the hairdressers open and I think they're booked out for almost the whole of April once they get started. So take care everybody, hope everybody's doing fine and we will be back tomorrow and we'll see you then. And Except for the people that we see this afternoon. So see you then, bye.